hallelujah now there are four channels when God gives a man the gift of sight when God grants a man access to the seeing eye it expresses itself in four principal channels and I want you to please pay attention because this is the gift that God wants to give someone you your eyes have been open all your life but you will be finding out that you've not been seen he laid hands on someone who was blind and said what do you see say I see men like trees and he laid hands on him the second time and he said I see clearly the opening of the eyes does not necessarily mean sight I repeat again you can be looking and yet not see your eyes are open but you do not have sight the request of blind Bartimaeus was not that his eyes should open he said that I may receive my sight there are four prophetic channels according to scripture when God opens the eyes of a man these are the channels that he uses to communicate his intent to that man. You can know you have received the gift of sight because these four channels will be activated immediately in your life. And it is by those channels you will be able to navigate your path through destiny. Moving from one stride, one accomplishment, one kingdom exploit to another. Are you ready? Number one. The first channel that is activated when you receive the gift of sight are your dreams and visions. Write it down, please. Your dreams and visions are the first channels that show whether or not you have received the gift of sight. When God gives a man the seeing eye, it tells immediately in your dreams and visions. Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. Joel 2 28 and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh he says and your sons and daughters shall prophesy help me read the rest your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions when a man does not have the seen eye you will never be able to have the platform of dreams and visions to be used by God to reveal the blueprint of your destiny for you. I hope you know that the capacity to dream dreams and to see visions is a gift from God to help direct the course of people's lives. In Job chapter 33, 14 and 15, write it please. Job 33, 14 and 15. Watch this. It says, For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet a man perceives it not. 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon man, in the slumberings upon the bed. You know what he was saying? That every time you go to bed, while your body is sleeping, the Spirit of God is coming with messages that connect to your destiny, connects to the next level of your life. In that realm of the Spirit called the realm of dreams and visions, Satan is also interested in that realm because he can manipulate the things you see and hear. You will wake up with messages that you think are from God and obey them sincerely unto your destruction. Hallelujah. There are people today who were misdirected because of the dreams they had, misdirected because of the visions they had, and have sincerely remained loyal to those dreams and visions to their perdition. If dreams and visions were not powerful, Satan would not be interested in your sleep. That when men go to bed, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of transactions happen in the spirit. Dreams and visions. Is God helping someone? Genesis chapter 41. Give us verse 25 and then verse 28. The story of, jo of Joseph. And Joseph said unto Pharaoh, the dream that Pharaoh the dream of Pharaoh is one. Watch this. God had showed Pharaoh through that dream what he is about to do. God has shown him what? What he is about to do. Go to verse 28. He repeats it again. 
this is the thing which I have spoken unto Pharaoh. What God is about to do, he showeth unto Pharaoh. Has God shown you what he's about to do in your life? Has God shown you what he's about to do in your family? Has God shown you what he wants to do with your destiny? Has God shown you what he wants to do with your ministry? Have you been wasting the six or eight hours that when your body lies down, the spirit of grace comes wanting to show you the steps you must take? Men have woken up out of dreams and visions into enviable destinies. An example of such a man was Solomon. Solomon went to bed, ladies and gentlemen, and by the advantage of dreams and visions, God came to him and a destiny altering transaction happened. Solomon, what should I give you whilst you are asleep? Do you know that the revelation about the captivity of the nation of Israel alongside their exodus came to Abraham when he fell asleep? It was in a dream and in a vision God came to him that a time will come a people will be... Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. If you miss the opportunity of dreams and visions being used as a prophetic tool, you will miss out a lot in destiny. I remember in 2013, God had already helped us and we're doing well in ministry. Hallelujah. We had just started Koinonia now. And I remember I was feeling a stirring in my heart. Should we move to Abuja? And then a prophetic encounter. I think it was a dream or so. I saw a plane lift from Zaria on its way coming to Abuja. Before it would land, it crashed. And immediately I knew and it was written here and I there immediately I knew that this thing was not of God I think someone else had the same experience and sent me a text to say listen this is what I saw I knew by the advantage of dreams that even though it was in my prophetic blueprint it was not yet the timing you can see what is right and not know the timing you will still fail as if you are in error Pay attention to what you are learning tonight because for somebody God is reigniting the gift of dreams purifying your dreams again there are many people hear me there are many people who danger had been averted in their lives because of the power of dreams the power of visions hallelujah praise the name of the Lord there are many people today with all due respect to them who should not have died if they knew how to buy into God's voice using the medium of dreams and visions for others they saw but they could not understand what was being said dreams visions have you ever wondered why people go to bed and as soon as they lay their head a miracle happens is that not what happened to Jacob in chapter 28 of Genesis the Bible says he went to um, now laws and lay down there to sleep the bible says when the man went to bed oh suddenly he had a dream and he saw a ladder that connected the earth to the heavens and god speaking there i can tell you ladies and gentlemen many of the questions you have been asking god Lord, what is the next phase of my life? Should I stay in Abuja? Should I go to America? If you understand and receive this gift of the seen eye, you will marvel and wonder that you will go to bed and one night's sleep will download the destiny the next 10 years of your life. You will stand up and be writing like someone is dictating and you will take steps that lead you triumphantly. It's an advantage that the saints have dreams and visions when satan wants to abort and sabotage your destiny he tries to stop you from seeing because satan is a master at creating blindness are we together he does not just blind your mind he blinds your eyes he blinds your understanding two things when satan wants to destroy the life of dreams and visions he will manipulate it so that you keep taking wrong steps in honor of what you are seeing and you keep failing then a time will come in disappointment you will no longer trust what you see are we together 
I saw this. I took a step. Later I found out it was not God. I saw this. I took a step. Later I found out it was not God. It will plant fear in you. So that the next thing you see, you say, no, my hand is not there again. I will not make this mistake. And in it, you will lose precious opportunities. Do you know that the rescue of Jesus as a baby came by revelation to Joseph through a dream? If dreams were not powerful and were not God ordained, God would not use it. That the best channel to communicate the rescue of the Savior who could die was a dream. Hallelujah. When believers go to sleep, it is not just your body lying lifeless for hours. It is that you are giving your spirit man an opportunity to interact with the spirit of God and draw forth prophetic messages, pictures and imageries. Many of the realms that this ministry by the grace of God is working in now, there were realms that I saw in dreams and visions yesteryear. Didn't get the pictures quite clearly for some of them, but I knew in types and shadows and some of them clearly saw that this was the direction. Every confusion in your life that has come as a result of haziness in dreams and visions. Every assumption that has now cost you. Some of you, it has cost you finances. It has cost you relationships. It's cost you your health. In the name of Jesus, may that veil be torn right now. May that veil be torn right now. Hallelujah. I hope you know. Sit down, please. The first thing Satan manipulated in the life of Adam and Eve, Eve particularly, was their eyes. The dynamics of the fall of man started with his speaking, his manipulation, but it went to their eyes. The Bible says when the woman saw, what she heard was there, but until it affected what she saw, it had no power over her regardless what the serpent was saying she still had her stamina and her nakedness was not there regardless the information but the moment it translated to an alteration of her vision when she saw she acted upon what she saw and fell hallelujah in fact it was it was paul i believe who was speaking he said i fear lest satan beguile you with the same subtlety that he used for eve in the garden do you know how he made them fall he manipulated the power of their sight he casted an image upon them and they responded to that image to their detriment question do you know what happened to the four lepers and the people who ran away and brought blessings to samaria it was first a manipulation of what they heard but it was beyond what they heard. I believe with all my, my heart that their eyes had a role to play. What you hear may not be enough to, you can't just be running because you had sounds. There has to be something your eyes see to convince you because you can doubt what you hear, but you cannot doubt what you see. There are times that when you place a call, you are hearing someone's voice but either because there is a network problem or perhaps the person has some cold he's not able to speak clearly and sometimes you have to check who you are talking to with your eyes and still see the name and you say oh you are still the person you hardly doubt say a video call when you are seeing the person the voice may not sound like the person but with your eyes you can verify that this is the person hallelujah are we blessed dreams and visions saints of God hear me in this end time God is restoring the seen eye helping people to now begin to have genuine dreams and visions that are destiny compliant and some of you you came here because your life has marked time for far too long you don't see again you don't hear again and your ministry has gone down because you don't even know the next chapter whereas in the realm of the spirit you are supposed to have entered the next phase maybe of your apostolic ministry maybe of your prophetic ministry maybe of your prayer ministry maybe of your giving maybe your business is supposed to have gone to the next level but the bankruptcy of the seen eye has kept you in one place tonight you will receive your sight 
Glory be to God. 